Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is July 28th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading or investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla closed up $2.20 today at 0.34%. Uh, Tesla closed at 646.98. Post market, we seem to be down one buck at uh, 646. So the post market uh, data seems to be good um, right now. Let's look at what this looks like on the chart, uh, on the daily chart. Remember yesterday, bizarre day yesterday. So Tesla went down to 639. So today we are having a very small bodied candle, uh, a little bit of a longer wick at the top, a little bit shorter wick at the bottom. But basically the stock looks like it does not know what it needs to do. The open is uh, very similar to the close. So we opened at 647 and we closed at 646.98. Two cents difference between the open and the close. The Federal Reserve uh, was meeting yesterday and also today and uh, going on their site, we don't yet see any uh, press releases. So we don't know if they think that inflation is going to go up or if they are going to act on it, uh, raise interest rates and so on. So we have no information about that. So maybe this is why the market is still waiting for that decision. And once that decision comes out, then maybe it's going to have an impact. So basically, Let's look at the hour chart. The first uh, candle of the day was right here. So basically, if we take uh, just a little bit of a pullback, we see that Tesla is in a congestion zone, as I mentioned, between 624 and 694. This is the lay of the land. Now, if we want to go a little bit deeper here within that congestion zone, this is what the one hour chart helps us understand the more nitty gritty details so basically we opened the day with a nice green candle and we went up to 654 almost so 6 654 had been a resistance that we had because of the stock was using that point as a either pause uh, here a support and sometimes as a resistance right here and right here so basically this is an important number it's not an end-all be-all, but it's just like a rest area while driving down the road. So basically, we have a smaller congestion zone between 642 and 654. And basically, this is what the stock uh, did today. So we went a little bit more down here, a little bit more up than 654. But then afterwards, we basically bounced between these two lines. I don't think uh, the stock is going to stay between these two lines uh, a lot longer the smaller your channels or congestion zone or channels the less time the stock is going to spend within those two lines so it won't last long what is also quite interesting is that we are having a channel within this congestion zone so look at this here we have this line here this one here and this one here so basically during the first hour we went and touched and confirmed that support from the channel. If I were to draw this line here, this would also work because we would have had a breakout from this resistance here on July 26th. A breakout here that sat on 654 and then the stock went down. And now we would be having a second breakout and also a touched on that support basically a bounce on this resistance that has become support and also this support at 642 so this would be a nice bounce too is it coupled with something else this is coupled with with macd that uh, crossed over not too long ago this is a positive sign and it's coupled with a stochastic at around 50. so nothing too crazy but maybe this is just an indication that things are about to change i don't necessarily mean that uh, you should act on it i'm just pointing this out that uh, this is what we can see 
But for sure, 654 is definitely a resistance. Unless the stock breaks out of 654, it won't go places. Let's go back to the daily chart. Let's look at our indicators to get a longer term view of what is happening. Looking at our indicators here, we see a stochastic climbing up a little bit from a yesterday. So we are at 33. So still below 50 that we like to see it, or at least 50. I would say that when stochastic is at around 70 or 75, then we tend to see some moves in the stock. 50 is the bare minimum to get some things that are at least a little bit interesting. MACD uh, still crossed over bearish, still above uh, zero, and uh, DMI still uh, red and going even redder going a little, a little bit redder here because the distance between the red line and the green line is increasing and when the red line is above the green line that means that the stock is in a downtrend from a dmi perspective so there you have it a pretty boring day for uh, tesla all in all waiting to see what the federal reserve uh, has in store for the stock market so i bet tomorrow we are going to be seeing a little bit more action also, I would like to announce something that I hope will interest uh, some of you. I have been starting to do some weekly recap during the weekend. This is taking time. In order to make it worthwhile for me and for you, I thought that I would do these weekly recaps only for my YouTube members. So for the low price of approximately i think five dollars us you will be able to see my weekly recap during the weekend and i thought it might be interesting to do these uh, weekly recap live so then as i am recording the weekly recap you can also chat with me at the same time so that we can have a conversation a different type of conversation a closer conversation there than what we are having right now in the comment section below so uh, this is an idea i am thinking of doing it for uh, the first time next weekend so please tell me in the comment section below if you think uh, this is a good idea or not so i'm going to wish you a great evening we are going to talk tomorrow and i'm going to tell you à la prochaine